Okay, so I'm in a jam. It's a little too late to do anything now about it for normal people, but when you have your own machine shop and your friend's coming over with a, and you need to make something for his anniversary, then we're kind of on the clock because they're going to be here in just a few hours, and I didn't think of anything. So he loves electric guitars, and I was thinking, hey, I got this clear piece of acrylic sitting around the shop, um, and I bet I could 3D print uh, some components to go on there and machine the body out of that. So what's the first thing that I do? First, you shrink yourself. You gotta shrink yourself first. Then you go to GrabCAD and you find, well, you know, he's a Fender guy. And now this one has a step file in here. So that means I've got the 3D CAD uh, ready to go. Okay, so now I've downloaded that or up, uploaded that into Fusion 360. I haven't opened it. I don't know what it's going to look like. It was uploaded at 11.57 and it's 12.02 now. Okay, yeah, look at that. Somebody put a lot of work into this. Um, so I don't know how I'm going to do it really, but let's see what kind of bodies we got. Okay, so we got a lot of those. Um, okay, so this one is the main body, right? And uh, what I could do is just right click on this and then say I want to isolate him. Now that is what we're going to machine out of our piece of plastic. But of course he's way too big. So we're going to scale him down so he's this little trophy size ukulele Fender Stratocaster clear plastic monstrosity. Uh, yeah, yeah. Okay, got a lot of bottles. I'm assuming those are screws and stuff. Pickups and well, we can't do all of that. We're going to 3D print as much of this as we can. But to do it, I need to get the, the parts on the printer quick, uh, like right now. And then the machining is actually the easy part, right? I'm just going to drop this thing in the machine, and it'll take, well, 15 minutes. Uh, i got to cut some soft jaws so I can flip it and clean him up and everything. I think, I think this is going to be a piece of cake. <music> I drew the stock, if you notice, I drew, there's the stock right here, right? Um, drew the stock, so, and then that's the point I selected. So I'm gonna just shrink him down, you know, let's try 50%. Uh, it looks like, yeah, it looks like I can machine it out of this. I would actually want the clear surfaces to be there. So I might make it a little thicker then it should be a little out of proportion but try to keep it inside of this uh, square and then we'll just have to make some uh, custom soft jaws and we'll be good so what you're looking at right now is creality print it works really good with the creality printer um, i do like simplified 3d but uh, anyway looks like it's going to take about three hours three and a half hours that's probably four hours uh, I've got it set for Hyper Series, so I've got the Hyper PLA here. Um, it's black. I might paint it. I don't know. Uh, all right, so we got our Op 1. So we're going to rough from this side. We made some boundaries on this that allowed us to kind of go into those jaws there, uh, allowed us to clean all of that up and kind of take a look at, you know, some of the goofy lines we did just to kind of keep it away from the jaws. Uh, this is not ideal, but in this situation, it's gonna work just fine. Uh, yeah, and then we did, the, you know, did the radius on there. This material, because it's acrylic and I want to keep him clear, he's not like, he's nowhere close. You know, he's 20 thousandths off in, you know, in shape. Uh, right now, what you hear going on in the background, that's op two. We just cut out some soft jaws grabbed him up and now we're doing this roughing uh, right here and then we're gonna blend in these cuts on the side Might hit him with a bit of Windex, but not too bad. All the uh, tool paths seem to line up really good. Uh, screws worked really good. 
I think we're good. We got it.